Before this video starts, yes, I'm aware that Christmas is over. No, that does not mean I can't have a Christmas background. My tree stays up until April anyway. Okay, a little bit of backstory about my allergies. I started developing food allergies when I was two. Hours old. Yeah, that's right. I was a baby allergic to milk. I had a great start in life. My parents even had to buy a special type of formula because I was allergic to all the other existing ones. Peanuts, eggs, milk, fruits, you name it. I was allergic to almost everything and I was always told to stay away from them. My mom would be like, oh my God, how am I supposed to feed this kid? If you're wondering what could happen if I eat something I'm allergic to. Uh, how do I explain this? Basically, so growing up, I had to take allergy tests twice every year. And up till I was 13, I always had eczema, which means the inside of my arms and the back of my knees were always red and itchy. It was extremely uncomfortable. By the time I was in elementary school, I outgrew most of my allergies, but some of them still remained. Just some of them. And between the ones that remained were eggs. More specifically, egg yolks. Now to the story. This event took place when I was in third grade. We were having a food sale where parents would sell their homemade treats to raise money for our school. After walking around the room, I saw these cupcakes. If you have any food allergies, you always have to be super cautious with everything you eat. That means always checking ingredients before buying anything and asking about it specifically if necessary. So that's exactly what I did. Um, excuse me ma'am, do these cupcakes have any egg yolks in them? This is my own secret recipe, so I can't tell you what's inside them. You should give them a try though, they're delicious. I don't know why this lady thought a third grader would be interested in stealing her frickin' cupcake recipe. It's not like I was gonna run off in the middle of the night and start a cupcake empire with it or something. So I tried to explain to her that I couldn't eat egg yolks because I was allergic. And she just looked annoyed. How much money do you have? I had two dollars. Why did I only have two dollars? It's because A, food allergies, and B, I was a very picky eater. So my options were pretty limited, and I didn't want to waste it on cupcakes that had the possibility of- But this lady didn't care, she just wanted to sell me her darn cupcakes. I'll give you two for one. So I thought, maybe she didn't know what food allergies are. So I explained in great detail that eating eggs could seriously harm me. And she just started laughing. So did the lady right next to her. Oh, kids. Don't worry, you can't even taste the eggs. And at that point, I just gave up. I don't think anything I was saying was getting in there. The worst part was that as I was walking away, another parent approached her to ask what happened. And she said, she doesn't like eggs. Why you dumb? But wait, there's more! Turns out my elementary school was a breeding ground for Karens because that was not the worst encounter that happened that day. I didn't want to leave empty handed, so I kept looking for something good to munch on. And then I found it. I asked again, are there any egg yolks in this cake? Nope. It's an egg free cake. When I was little, finding a cake that had no eggs in it was like finding diamonds for me. I couldn't even have any birthday cake because none of the bakeries would make them without eggs. So I didn't even hesitate, I just went, TAKE MY MONEY! I was overwhelmed with joy and left the room to find somewhere to sit. But given what just happened, my excitement started to wear off. My instincts were telling me to slowly back away from that cake. Guys, I don't think we should eat that. CAKE! Hey, nothing happened. <laughs> My tongue started feeling itchy, my throat was swelling up, and I was getting dizzy. So I ran to the canteen to get some water. I couldn't even talk properly. Water. Cold. Cold water. They looked at me and ran out to give me some water while the other one went to find a teacher. Thanks to their help, I was actually feeling a bit better. A few minutes later, the other dude came back with my teacher, and we both went to ask the lady what was in the cake. And this time she said, Five eggs. When I heard this, I was still feeling a bit nauseous, but my reaction was along the lines of, Huh. Well, dang. My teacher, on the other hand, Where's your EpiPen? Do I call an ambulance? Do you want me to call your parents? Why did you tell her you were allergic? I did. You did? She did. But food allergies aren't real. 
She then proceeded to explain that I was just being picky about my food and that I just need to get over it. I might have been a third grader, but that was the dumbest thing I've ever heard come out of somebody's mouth. My teacher tried explaining to her that food allergies were very real and that this was a very serious topic, but she didn't listen. She turned to me and said that I was just a spoiled kid who only eats whatever she wants. My teacher was super nice. He was always a calm and laid-back person who never raised his voice no matter what the situation was. He's like that one person you know that never, ever, ever, ever gets angry. And that was the first and only time I've seen him snap at someone. It was absolutely terrifying, but also pretty fun to watch. She ended up getting kicked out of the event, and I never bought any pastry sweets from school fundraisers ever again.